So we'll get to that, I guess, in a second. Yeah. So so let's move to the twenty eight, the two, the two thousand eight season. So now we got a new region. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, first of all, it's your fifth season as coach. We, we have a good year in seven and three. Uh, yeah. Uh, no sub regions. Jefferson won the region at nine and zero. Oh. North Oak County was eight and two. Riverside Military Banks and us finish in a three and four way tie or a three way tie for third yeah, and four. Yeah. At six and three, and and we came out on the short end of it. Uh, we lost a tiebreaker. Yep. Yeah. Union was at four and five. East Jackson three and six. Dawson two and seven. Oglethorpe and Raven were one and eight. Uh, it was a great season, Coach. Uh, we traveled down to Huff Mosley again and beat Gilmer. Yeah. For some reason, we had to play Gilmer back to back on the road. And I remember Nick yeah. Dean taking the first play of the game to the house. Yeah. To second the play. house. Second, second play, play, yeah. It was yeah. second play, yeah. He went to the house. Yep. And, uh, and of design. course, of course, you know, I, I, everybody knows I was the mascot, and I ran that flag. <laughs> and I, I, I mean, I remember. I remember not. I remember I put the flag down because I didn't think we was going to score, and I had to rush and get the flag and make sure that flag was ran. And uh, yeah. the player of the week, uh, Mason Head, uh, Nick Dean on offense, Mason Head defense, and Garrison Christ on special teams. So you're seeing some. Yeah, young there's guys a guy step up. right there who who will become a a big part of what we were. You know, Garrison. Uh, you know, uh, 2008, 2009, 2010. I mean, there was a sophomore right there. Um, crazy game. That game was crazy. Uh, Nick Dean got sick. You know, he ran that touchdown. Yeah. He was sick before the game. And uh, we uh, – <laughs> it, it was insane. It was insane. Uh, you know, Nick was sick. He was throwing up all over the place during the game. Uh, we ended up having to put Devin Morris at quarterback. You know, uh, Devin didn't do a bad job, but we just taken completely out of our rhythm of the, after the touchdown. So uh, they ended up, they were up 14 10 at halftime. And, yeah, and uh, I, I remember that. And we, also, we played, yeah. go ahead. No, no, no. I, I remember ahead, also the Gilmer County newspaper had an article. There was like a questionable pass interference call. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. I think they yeah. wanted a they wanted a pass interference uh, call. Uh, no, we, I, we got a call. Yeah, we, we got we it. got yeah. the call. Yeah, yeah. They, they, it was yeah. I think it was actually to Price. We were throwing it. To I Price think it threw over and, the middle uh, to Acker. Yeah, and uh, they called him for pass interference, and uh, old Coach Tank, man, he went off. He went off on those refs. I tell you yeah. what, that lasted about ten minutes. Uh, yeah, I, never I remember that. that. Yeah, that was in the that was in the third quarter. Um, I'll never forget. You know, here's the thing. Um, here's the thing about 2008. You know, is never not one time did we play a game up to our potential that year. And mm -hmm. and you ask any of those kids, they'll tell you the same thing. Uh, yeah. All the magic we had from 07 was gone in 2008. Uh, that was a really good team. That was a really good team. I mean, but we 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 got full of ourselves. It became okay. What school am I going to? What college am I going to? You know, uh, all this. It not it, it didn't have anything to do with fan and football anymore. And I didn't know how to manage it. You know, yeah. um, you know, because that was our, you know, that was our thing. And uh, you know, and I'm not saying everybody was that way. It wasn't everybody. But we were just out of sync the whole year. I mean, there was yeah. just things that happened, you know, that just come out of the blue, you know, just completely out of the blue. Things you would never expect. Yeah. Um, you know, it just, you know, and then we everything you could do to ruin a football team got ruined. And we, you mm -hmm. know, we, you know, I tried, I tried, I tried to bring it to their attention. You know, we had several kids didn't had to go to summer school. That's the first time we'd ever had that, you know, yeah. that we didn't have kids make grades. I mean, we were totally unfocused, completely and totally unfocused. Um, yeah. I will, I will forever, Tim, uh, regret 2008 um, yeah. as long as I live. Uh, it was a, the assemblage of the best talent we've ever had. At Fannin, and we just, we 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 just never could get that magic back. You know, yeah. we just couldn't, Tim. I I don't know the reason. If I could pin it down, if I could thumb it down, 
it wasn't for a lack of, you know, it wasn't like we weren't trying, you know, coaches were trying, players were trying. It's yeah. just, we didn't have, we just didn't gel for whatever reason, that team never gelled. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it all, uh, you know, came to a crescendo down there at Jefferson where they just, they just beat us into submission. Okay. Yeah. They beat us every way you could beat somebody. And, uh, you know, it got our attention. You know, we ended up winning out five, I think four or five in a row after that, you know. Yeah. But the Gilmer game, you know, I mean, we played, we played really good in the second half. I mean, you know, Drew Thomas hit their quarterback one time. I thought he like it killed him, you know. Drew was so yeah. mad after halftime. I mean, anybody that ran across Drew was going to get killed. And, yeah. uh, you know, unfortunately for that quarterback, yeah. he ran into him and then – uh, we got that call, and then uh, we scored four touchdowns, you know, un unanswered touchdowns. Uh, you know, we started playing like we should, but, you know, we, we looked like we were out of shape. We looked like we were, you know, uh, you know, we just, you know, I, I was like, man, what did we do wrong? What did we do wrong? You know, first yeah. and foremost, we went to a Georgia Tech camp instead of going to our usual camp. I'll never make that mistake again. Always, you, know, you always, uh, went, to Cochran, we always went to all that stuff. We always went to Cochran. We didn't go that year. I blame that. I blame the fact that, you know, maybe we should have done something offensively a little bit differently, you know, only because we had a hard time finding a fullback to, 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 to take over for Evan, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we plugged and yeah. plugged a lot of guys in there, and it's not to – you know, we're, I'm not trying to throw shade on anybody that played that position. I remember Devin Morris volunteered one time to play. He ran for 131 yards, and three scores against Dawsonville, or two scores, I should say. You know, but mm -hmm. I couldn't leave him in there because it was just it was too big of a pound that he doesn't have that kind of frame <laughs> to get hit by linebackers and defensive linemen, you know, all the time, you know. And yeah. he needed him as, a, as an A-back, so – uh, you know, he won us that football game. We were down 14 to nothing in that game. Devin yeah. won that game for us. I mean, it was a team win, but Devin's effort won that game for us. Uh, it wasn't like we weren't getting effort out of kids. We were getting effort. It just yeah. – nothing we did ever seemed to gel. Yeah. And, um, I, you know, it just – it came to a crescendo down there at Jefferson. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, I, I took it rough – you know, us getting beat down like that. You know, uh, I think early in the game we were us. in that game. I think uh, oh, I think yeah. it was Morris yeah. or Gaddy yeah. fumbled. Yeah. No, we 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 had a um, you know we had a first and goal at the two yard line. Yeah. And could couldn't stick it in. Yeah. You're you're, you're going to sit there and tell me that that offensive line we brought everybody back. Yeah. And those running backs that we had. And we've got Nick Dean playing quarterback, and we can't stick it in the end zone against Jefferson. Because yeah. you, uh, you, know, you had was Salinas, the, that was you had the Salinas at right tackle. Away. You had uh, yeah. Koshis yeah. at right guard, yeah. Jeffrey yeah. at center. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was Logan Days at left guard, and then Meeks at left tackle. Yeah, yeah. No, Meeks was a right tackle. But, Meeks was a right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we we got stuffed on four straight plays down there. And, of course, uh, they came out and, uh, you know, they had to punt, and then we jump off sides on the punt, you know. Mm -hmm. And that you, you knew right then and there that game was over. You know, it was over. You know, it was 0-0, zero, zero, but I was just like, this game's over. I mean, we, yeah. we completely have no focus. And sure enough, it wasn't maybe two plays later, you know, that quarterback, he took the ball down, we missed a tackle. He's down the sideline. We can't catch him. And yeah. then, buddy, they took they took us to the woodshed at that yeah. game. I mean, it. We had guys coming off that field. Some of the toughest guys you you would ever want to coach. Just nobody wanted to be there, you know. And it was like, you know, it, it's well, that was, that was probably the first time. That was probably the first time in about three years that we've really been hitting the mouth in the mouth. Oh my! Oh my God! They let me tell you something. They hit us so hard i mean i guess everybody had told them that we were going to out hit them and normally that was the case you know but but the one thing about us is we were bullies and we didn't like getting hit back you know that's one yeah. thing i can say about us now um now um you know 
we could even that out a little bit, you know what I'm saying at times, but you know, but like I said, you know, I'm not trying to throw shade on anybody, you know, our guys are who they were and I was who I was as a coach. I wish I'd have done some things differently that year. I don't know if, you know, I mean, I still, you know, like I said, I, I don't know what I could have done, but you know, I felt like I could have done something, but yeah, you know, it, it was the whole year, Tim was just, even from the off season on, Tim and these kids know it. These guys, these men that today, they know it. Uh, you know, I, I, they would get into stuff, and I'd be like, "Guys, what are y'all thinking? You know, we don't do these things." You know, yeah. and and so anyway, it just. I remember. You know, I remember. It wasn't uh, anything bad. It wasn't anything bad, Tim. You know, nobody was doing anything terrible. You know, it was just, you know, it just yeah. never messed up for whatever reason, and. Uh, I wish I could put my finger on it, and I know those guys, if they had a chance, and we could rewrite history, I'm telling you what, we wouldn't have won, we wouldn't have lost a single game that year, you know, if we yeah. could go back and know what we all know now, yeah, we wouldn't lose a single game that year, yeah. so, you know, like I said, you can't rewrite it, you only get one chance, you know, yep. and you only uh, get one that's chance. what happened to yeah. I, I didn't want to backtrack. You uh, only get one chance. Yeah, let's talk yeah. about the East Jackson game. Um yeah. That was a game in between Gilmer and Jefferson. We won twenty yeah. to six. I yeah. think it was this was their first ever home game. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. They had just they had just opened the school a year yeah. or two years before that, and uh, you know, Gaddy was a the really up. good group of kids. Yeah, yeah. Josh Gaddy, <laughs> offense player of the week. Uh, yeah. Price Acker was the defensive player of the week. Chance yeah. Harris uh, was the special teams player of the week that that week. Um, see a picture right there of Price, number 84. Yeah. I think Price yeah. may be the only player in school history to wear three numbers. You know, he wore 31, <laughs> as a fre- wore 31 as a freshman, and then he wore 54 and 84. He may be the yeah. only player in school history to wear three numbers. We used to, have to, bring, a- we used to have to bring several jerseys around for Price. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, we always had to have a couple, you know, because you never knew when we were going to throw him down at tackle or – you know, because he was our next tackle if uh, somebody went out, you know. Yeah. So, uh, he, we'd had to bring multiple jerseys for him, that's for sure. So, <clears throat> we um, had a couple guys in our program that were hybrid guys. So, you yeah, know. which is obviously a good problem to have. And then we, uh, yeah. we of course, the Jefferson game, we lost 41-6. to six. Uh, We're not going to talk much more about that. No. Uh we had uh, players of the week. Jeffrey was the player of the week. Uh, Mason Head was a defense player of the week, and Jeffrey was the special teams player of the week. I think that's the first time I've seen a player of the week award for two for two people in that week. Uh, yeah. Game four, uh, we uh, are back home. First home game of the year uh, in in that season. Uh, we host Dawson County, and uh, we beat Dawson. Uh, 28-17. Devin Morris was the offense player of the week. Eric Payne, defense player of the week, and Tyler Brown, special teams. Yeah. Uh, went on to beat Dawson. We beat Oglethorpe 55-17 at home. Yeah. Uh, Garrison Christ, player of the week, offensively. Nick Dean, defensively, and Devin on the special teams. So, yeah. uh, getting a little bit of momentum rolling again. We're four and one heading into uh, Ogle. Um, Excuse me, that's what we just talked about. Over four and one heading into Union. Union, uh, yeah. Shootout, 42-35, oh, yeah. we beat them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, player of the week, Gaddy on offense. Dean was defensively, and Matt Gray was special teams player of the week. You remember anything yeah. from that game, Coach? I remember a lot. We gave up uh, 335 yards, I think, to uh, <laughs> Gowder receiving. You know, um, we had a uh, mentor who had one – he had a cast on his arm. You know, these yeah. are the things that I'm talking about. You know, Justin Minter was a great football player, and he covered. Yes. We had him, Cody Raper. I mean, uh, we had all kinds Boy. of guys trying to cover him. Boy, you know? Cody Raper. And then we had Nick playing over the top. Yeah, Cody Raper, man. You talk about a, somebody man, who loves Fanny K. Rebel dude. football. Oh, man, what a dude. <laughs> what a dude, buddy. I'm telling you what. Now, hey, I love me some Cody Raper, buddy. He loved fan and football. He was all about it. He played special teams for us. He played corner for us uh, senior year. Um, 
you know, Gowder ripped us apart because, you know, we had a one arm guy who had the ball thrown to him. You know, he had uh, – Bitter could have picked off two or three of those passes if he'd had both hands, you know. Yeah. Oh, uh, boy. But we had, uh, like I said, you know, people were, like, questioning me, going, well, why are you going to put a guy that's one-handed on a gowder? I'm like, look, you know, it's not like we had anybody else that could do anything. You know what I'm saying? Let's yeah. lock down those other guys and make sure they don't do anything, you know, because we're not going to stop gowder. You know, we're just not no. – it, it's not going to happen. You know, um, if that guy was a he, – he was a freak among freaks. And uh, – you know, we won that game in a shootout. That was Brian Allison's return to uh, Union County that year. Uh, he put together – those kids were sophomores. And, buddy, we had three wars. I mean, yeah. 2008, 2009, yeah. 2010, those games were wars. Oh, my gosh. We were very fortunate. We won two of those games, lost the lost the 09 game. But we were very fortunate in that game. I knew – uh, you know, and I, Brian was one of my best friends and coaches, Jim. You know, mm-hmm. a guy I respected a whole lot. And uh, He's done a very I'll good job at Union County you know, over the last few years. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. He was doing a good job then, you know. I yeah. mean, that, those were some good teams, you know. Uh, Brian's always done a good job wherever he's gone. Uh, but I'll never forget, you know, they ran the 50 like we did, and we stuck him with the outside veer. We never run the outside veer, you know, ever at Fannin. And, and we got him with that. And, and then we got him with the counter dive. And, you know, we never ran the counter dive much, but we ran those two plays against him. <laughs> and that joker come up to me after that game. And he said, Coach, he goes, he goes, I thought you might run counter uh, uh, outside veer against us, but we didn't work on it. And he's like, he was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> he was so mad. And, uh, you know, and but we always had that, you know, friendly rivalry. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And of course, I ended up mad at him the following year. They beat us, and you know, and then, uh, but we always had the, you know, just little fun things we always used to try to do to each other, you know, scheme wise and stuff. But uh, yeah, it was a really good football game. That was an exciting game. I mean, it, that game went exactly the way I thought it would. You know, yeah. it was going to be back and forth. Uh, I told our guys, I said, whoever can make the other team punt once, that's who's going to win. We yeah. made them punt one time. and uh, Or they turned it over on downs one time, and uh, you know, and that's how we won the game. So, uh, then, great effort. Great effort the, that game. Following week, we hosted Riverside, yeah. uh, which was our first time playing Riverside, I believe. Yeah, and it we was. won 40 it to was. 28. Yeah, those uh, guys had a really good football team. They had a transfer out of Brookwood who was running back for them. Um, fastest guy I've ever seen. I mean, my goodness. And i never forget, I told uh, – um, who was our kicker? Chance? Um, was it Chance? Who was, was our kicker? Langley. Langley. Brandon Langley. <laughs> Brandon Langley. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I told him, I said, don't kick it to him ever, ever, <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so we were trying to mortar kick it, you know, yeah. which is a high kick, you know, high and shallow, force him to fair catch it, you know, because we wouldn't want to kick off. Well, apparently he kicked it, right to uh, him. and it, it curved and went right to him. He took it to the house. Luckily for us, we had Devin Morris, and they kicked it right back to us. Devin Morris housed it, you know. Yeah in that game. So anyway, we end up winning, uh, like I said, we end up winning 40, 28, you know, we, we were starting to feel, you know, really good. You know, we were like, okay, okay. Yeah. You know, we got this thing. We got three tough games here at the end. Uh, we got to win two of them, you know, and we got to win the right two, you know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. The Riverside week players was, of the uh, week were you know, a Gaddy was, on offense, Drew Thomas yeah. defense and Morris on special teams, but, I think there's yeah. a picture right there of Meeks batting down a pass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you see that 16? He's that about six big quarterback. Feet. He was a grown man. Yes, sir, buddy. He is he a big, it. big quarterback <laughs> they had. He could throw it. Look at those linemen they had. I'm telling yeah. you, buddy. They had – I'll never forget we was uh, running – you know, they ran the inside-outside zone out of the single back. And uh, – and uh, I'll never forget, I was showing our players how they do it. It was a stretch play is what yeah. they were running. And, you know, the, the, basically the running back would just, you know, if you overflowed, 
you know, he'd cut it back up inside. And if you didn't flow hard enough and they were able to get your uh, end, the whole thing was about the end. And this is where yeah. Price Acker comes in, involved, involved into this because the whole key was, and I told Price this, and, and, and you know who our other end was, a, a boy by the name of Lucas Guerin. He was a sophomore. Yeah, you know that's somebody you don't think you know uh, doesn't get enough credit. Lucas Guerin was a heck of a football player, and I told yeah. those two, I said, look, this whole offense is predicated. If they get you guys turned, it's going to be over. I said, there's nothing we're going to be able to do, boys. They, they're going to that guy's going to be gone. So I yeah, forget we, we we were using Gaddy, uh, Josh Gaddy, as the uh, as the scout team guy, and basically what we were doing is everybody had to stay in phase. Okay, with their yeah. uh, on that stress play because you had to work it. And what we were doing is everybody was working on staying in phase, not over pursuing, not getting crazy, you know. And and uh, you know, and then the biggest thing was don't get turned, you know. If you're the outside guy, you cannot get yeah. turned, or we're done. And that's anyway. Uh, and I remember I ran a stress play and I gave it to Gaddy, and my ankle just rolled. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh my god i was i couldn't even walk the rest of the week i mean <laughs> and so i never forget we played uh we played them it was my birthday it was my uh that was my 41st birthday when, when we played them uh yeah there was a lot of situation around that I, uh i'll never forget that as long as i live that was homecoming and uh yeah it was my 41st birthday and uh man and we, it seemed like we, you know we were really starting to you know, get over that Jefferson hangover. And maybe we we're going to make a run at this thing, and you know, maybe turn the, turn the thing around a little bit. And, yeah, it lasted yeah. for one week. So. Yeah, and know. then and in Banks County, anyway. we we took the trip to Homer and uh, yeah. got beat thirty four seven. A yeah. pretty good Banks County team that year. They didn't make the playoffs. No, um, no, we were head and shoulders better than. The, uh, they beat the brakes off of us, though. So, yeah, they they yeah. won thirty four to seven. Nick Dean yeah, player of the week offense. Thirty four thirteen. Yeah, thirty four thirteen. That score is wrong. It was thirty four thirteen, but not to. They beat us to death. Yeah, yeah. They, and it left us out there like roadkill. So Nick Dean anyway. offense player of the week. Mason Head defensive player of the week. John Kinzer special teams player of the week. Uh, yeah. Then we return home on Halloween night. Uh, yeah. for a bl for a blackout, and then we blacked out the last ever game in the old stadium. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of memories uh, in the old stadium. We're building a new yeah. stadium. Uh, yeah. We beat Raven uh, twenty-four to twelve. Uh, senior night, uh, offensive player. I mean, offensive player of the week, Logan Daves. Yeah. Uh, Bryant Meeks was a defensive player of the week, and Justin Minner uh, was special teams player of the week that that game. Yeah. Great game. Uh, that's when Blake Henry got the first his first start in high school football. Yep. Blake Henry. And he yep. was a freshman, Short if I day. believe. He was a freshman, yep. Him and Drew Early were our starting running backs that game. Yeah. And uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say Garrison Christ was our fullback. I'm not sure on that. But, uh, yeah, we went all young that game. Yeah, sure yep. did. Sure did. Um, and, uh, the young guy stepped up. It was the only up. game we acted like a team. It was, all, it was the only game we acted like a team. Because uh, when those little young guys and early and those guys were getting yards, I mean, we were out there. We were picking them up. You know what I'm saying? Offensive line guys were picking them up, you know, patting yeah. them on the back. It was We played like an absolute team that night. And I think and Drew actually caught a – Drew, Drew caught a pass that game too, if I'm not mistaken. Drew, Drew, Drew early played well um, that game. Drew – Drew could catch. Drew could do whatever you wanted to on a football yeah. field. He was, you know, uh, he was just, like I said, Drew's, Drew's only thing, he was hard to find because he was yeah. so small. But I'm telling you, he could do everything on a field that you wanted a kid to do. I mean, yeah. he could catch. He could run. He could have played quarterback for us if we needed him to. You know, uh, yeah. we never played him there, but he could have done it, you know. Yeah. Um, but like I said, yeah, you see a lot of guys some... out of uniform that night, Jim. Yeah, yeah. a lot of guys yeah. out of uniform that night. Uh, we uh, we had a lot of hurt guys down to North Oconee, uh, yeah. and this 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 game stung. This game, this game stung. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, we, I think it was an overtime loss, if I'm not it mistaken, was. Coach. Twenty-one. Uh, Twenty-one fourteen. Uh, 
travel to their players of the week offensively, Josh Gaddy, Zach Leach defensively, and Devin Morris, uh, uh, special teams player of the week. Uh, uh, I think we had a chance to win the game. I think we uh, did. Langley, I think we had a field goal attempt. Uh, Langley, I think, uh, missed it, and then the, that took us to overtime, and then they, uh, they, mm-hmm. they won the game. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, we we lost it. We fumbled the ball at the two yard line going in in overtime to tie. Yep. Uh, we had a we um, we fumbled, then you know, oh, and uh, yeah, basically that was it. And the know, North Oak County uh, went. Uh, yeah, they were nine yeah. and three. Went deep into the playoffs. They went well. They went. They made it to the second round. They, they finished did. the season nine they, and three. Yeah, they went down the road and won a. Or excuse me, they had a. Uh, they won a home game. You know, mm-hmm. which is, you know, in, in, in 2008, 2009, we didn't get to the playoffs that year. Had we gotten to the playoffs, we had a chance to win some football games in those playoffs uh, because of the crossover games. You know, yeah. we just happened to be, you know, uh, like I said, the, the luck of the draw, if you get the private school league, you know, like we did in 07, yeah. not going to be good for you, you know. And then, uh, you know, then we got Manchester, you know, who was – basically the number one team in that region down there in the middle, uh, you know, but they didn't, you know, they finished third because of their record, you know, yeah. but they were the best team. And you ask all the coaches down there, I tell you the same thing, you know, uh, not making any excuses, but it was just bad luck, you know, yeah. and then us not making the playoffs those two years, you know, really kept us from winning some playoff games. Uh, you know, a county, North of county was not better than us. We were better than them. Um, we didn't play very well, you know. It, it was a it was a microcosm of our season that game. Microcosm yeah. of our of yeah. our entire season. A uh, seven and tried, three record uh, that you know, like you said, uh, the potential was was there to make a good run. A good effort, 